Okay, today I want to talk about narcissism and how sometimes it can be a good thing, but most times it's a bad thing. I think a little bit of narcissism in everybody is healthy because at the end of the day, you need to be your biggest supporter, your your, your biggest ally. You, you really do need to be self-validated because sometimes in life, you will be the only person doing so. And if you don't love yourself or have enough knowledge of self, you will fall to the wayside of people's um, opinions and a lot of these people are just hurt people talking shit now with that being said um like I said I had my friends all my goddamn life um most of my girlfriends we were friends well all of my girlfriends we've been friends since um we were at each other's first birthday party put it like that our parents know each other and then the male best friend i met him in the ninth grade we've been best friends ever since and he actually does real stock that's how i know people are lying but anyway <laughs> um anyway today's not about these idiots um but it kind of so i guess in a way they tie into it but my friends like some of them moved out of new york early on due to the careers they were trying to chase and like two of us uh, I'm talking about the girls my guy friend he been left um when he followed his child his his child mother left so he followed behind her because he didn't want to be away from his child so anyway um yeah so these two girls my daughter go get on the microphone now (laughs) she's funny so anyway um yeah what I was saying yeah so we've been friends since the first grade okay I know so let me go in the bathroom because she's gonna try to keep me talk on the mic. So anyway, um, the we've been friends since our uh, first birthdays. One of them, she kind of lives in New York, but she's really been traveling a lot because she's able to work remote. So her and she got one child, and he's a teenager now, young teenager, just made the teens, and so they they're traveling a lot. <laughs> she was the last out of our crew to have a kid, so I think her son is um, 13. You know, before that, I was I had the youngest kid. Um, well, now I got the youngest kid again, but you know what I'm saying, before Nyla. So anyway, she fought, she travels a lot, so she found a place. She, I don't want to say the place because I might, the only reason I'm not talking about this on Facebook is because I don't want so, certain people to know who it is and her family because they will be down there in a the hot skipping the beat but anyway um so she moved because i like you like i try to tell you we been i know i'm rambling it's gonna get better we've been all been friends and we we have like never had issues like i see other women have like worried about people talking to their men behind their back like we all have each other men numbers and it's never been a problem since little like little kids not little kids date, but you know what I'm saying? Since we was young and dumb, didn't know what we was doing. We still didn't do that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and we've always been there for each other. Like, like I tell you, this girl, she travels. I was just living vicariously through her because number one, I'm not getting on no plane. Number two, the only place I really, really want to go is to Jamaica. And I, I want to visit, like, not just Jamaica. I want to visit, like, all the Caribbean islands. I want to go on that cruise that goes around all the islands. That's, like, my destination trip. And, like, two of my friends, they have been on, they have been to the different islands. I don't know if they've been to, you know, one Anyway, I'm not going to give that out. But they have been to the islands, and but they went by plane. And, uh, you know, but I really want to go, but I want to go by boat. I don't want to get on the plane. I'm scared. So, anyway, this one particular destination, it's in the States, though. It's not out the country. She went there, and she really liked it there. So, she's, like, talking to us about, like, I think I should move here. I'm like, girl, go for it. I'm going to be missing you, but go for it. You know what I'm saying? So... She had been talking about this for over a year. So finally, a couple months ago, she decided to like, you know what, I'm going to just go ahead and move. I'll be able to move around more better with the money I make in this state, you know, because of the cost of living. Go ahead, girl, do your thing. Now, while she was thinking about this, she had met some people down there. Mad cool. You know what I'm saying? Well, I thought they was mad cool. She would bring them back to visit sometimes or go out with the girls or whatever. Like I told you, my friends, they we all got our own separate friends, but we, we're we our core group. But we do make other associates, you know what I'm saying? So I, I've never been the one to really hang with them and their associates and stuff like that. And especially since I stopped, because, you know, I have like, 
a great intuition. And when I don't listen to it, it's when I always get in trouble. But certain things, I'm like, uh, or it's not even sometimes it was like my intuition. Sometimes, you know, you just don't really, you know, they, that's not what you went to. You know, I don't like walk on people that twerk. I mean, there's nothing wrong with twerking. If you want to twerk on the street, twerk. That's just not me. And I know that's not my friend, but maybe they don't have a problem walking with people that twerk. That's fine. You know? <laughs> like, we can get, like, I don't know, I'm not like a prude or nothing. We can twerk and stuff, but I just think there's a time and place for everything. Even when I was in my 20s, I didn't do that. I think it's because I was raised up in like a strict up, religious upbringing. So even though I'm not religious anymore, certain things just, you know, I just can't. So anyway... So, like I said, sometimes it be intuition. Sometimes it just be like how the person is. Some people are, like, really loud and touchy-feely. I don't like that either. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so anyway, but, you know, if it's, like, a birthday or they having something at work, or like, having, like, a little work celebration, I go support and be chill with everybody. You know what I'm saying? Go about my business. Maybe a few people add them on Facebook or Instagram or whatever. Go about my life. So, my friend, she decides to move to the city and these girls, she's pretty much known them, like, I guess a month or two after first initially visiting there. And they always go out. And my friend, she's, well, all of us are really pretty. But you know what I'm saying? Um, she's really pretty. And she's never been one of those girls like, can't, don't talk to me. I'm too pretty for you, blah, 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 blah. She's not like that. She, you cool? She want to hang with you. Like I told you, she hanging around some people. I'm like, girl, what are you doing? But um, <laughs> this one particular girl... I had a feeling. I had a feeling. I tried to warn her. She's like, you think everybody fucked up. I'm like, no, I don't. So she gets down there. They had this whole plan for her to help to move because the, um, the house that she's moving into, the um, the gas is, I think the gas and stuff wasn't going to be turned on for a certain amount of time. I don't know. But she, but she had to move her stuff from one city to the next. So... She worked it out something that she can have all her stuff in the um get into the apartment. You understand? Like I mean, not the apartment, like the house or whatever. She wanted, and and the girl she trusted the girl to um be there because she wasn't gonna be able to be there when the stuff actually got shipped because she still had some ends to tie up over here. <sighs> While her stuff gets there and not. The girl takes the stuff, right? But when it, when my friend gets there, half her shit is gone. And the keys to the house. Like, she can't get in the house. She called the landlord, got the shit. He managed to let her in. Only half her shit is there. Like, even stole her some of her son's stuff. These... And I'm telling you, it's a lot of covert narcissists, males and females. And obviously, we deal a lot with men and they bull. But we have to be just as careful with women. So I felt bad because I didn't even notice that it happened to her. Because she know how to, man, let me, let me try to get on the plane. Or at least the fastest train down Atlanta. Show me where that bitch lives. You know what I'm saying? But um, <laughs> I feel bad telling her about all these dizzy ass girls from the internet and stuff and how they so jealous hearted and I knew it and I should have peeped game and I, I'm mad I fell for the bull again even though it's not a man it's a woman and it's like I don't want to fucking get to a point where I be like fuck all women and they struggles you know what I'm saying that if you're not my friend because that's not a good way to be we're not going to move forward as black women with that attitude so I just chose to Chuck that on the neck, you know what I'm saying? But then I'm hearing stuff like this, and this is like really getting me pissed. Ladies, pay attention. If you got people that constantly you uplifting and doing things for them without them asking you to, but you know this is not the same, you know what I'm saying? Or people only want to be around you when you're going through things because some people they get joy out of your misery, but the minute you come up, that's an aside comment who she thinks she is. Bitch, you know I'm the shit, so say so. That's what I think I am the shit. Like, my friend, she's a shit, and I feel so bad for her. This girl works hard. You know what I'm saying? She's a single parent. And she got more money than me, you know what I'm saying? And I don't work. But, you know, my, my man gives me He gets me the hookup. <coughs> but that's a shame how trifling people could be. You know what I'm saying? This girl got a job. I don't think she make as much as her. And, like I said, my friend... The company she works for, they have a site. Even though she's working remotely, they have, like, a site. So she was able to transfer. So she got all her 
she's keeping she's not losing nothing by moving. You know what I'm saying? She just moving to another part of the company, even though it's remote, you know? And they like her. She's been with them. Her cousin actually hooked her, her up with the job, but she's been with them for years. This girl did that to this girl. And when I tell you my friend is such a sweetheart, she's such a sweetheart. Like, you know how I many people had got on over on me, even on YouTube. I tell them keep that little petty ass money because anytime you walk around trying to nickel and dime people, you're gonna be doing that for the rest of your life. So if that's all it cost me to get you away out of my face, I'm happy to spend it. Cause some people cost me way more than that. <laughs> so you was actually a cheapo. <laughs> but this girl, I don't appreciate that. Like my friend, she's down there now and no like real nobody. And like I have to keep this in. I'm not allowed to say anything because she don't she don't want her family coming down there and going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Cause I our family gets crazy over of us. Shoot, some of my family be riding with her, and she already know. But it's sad. In 2022, stop the jealousy. Um, um, celebrate yourself. Don't be. Don't compare yourself to other people. Everybody got they. Everybody has their day. Everybody has their bad day. Everybody has their good day. Everybody got their time for their blessings. If that's how some people want to recognize blessings, whatever you want to call it, every come ups, whatever. Stop being a hater. Stop trying to take from people what you didn't help them get. Instead of you know what I do when I see somebody that I don't got that got something that I want, I ask them how they did it. If they want to tell me fine, if not, I do my own research. But one thing I ain't gonna never be is a hater and a thief and a liar and breaking the sister code. A lot of you women, you starting out 2022 bad down, real bad. That mm, that girl got me so fucking heated. I love my friend. I'm just, I know, I'm just making this video because I don't want to vent to her because I know she's already feeling bad enough. Can't even hug her or make her her favorite drink and shit because she's all the way out of town and shit. So ladies, do better. Stop hurting good people. You know what I'm saying? Be yourself. Be transparent. If if you're struggling with an issue, admit it to yourself or even get a therapist. But don't take that on nobody else. You don't know what nobody went through to get what they got. So stop being a hater. I love you, girlfriend. I'm going to send you this video, though.